Hi, this is Greg McCoach, editor of The Mining Speculator. I'm here with President Jerry Ma Bauman of Nevada Select, which is a wholly owned subsidiary of Ely Gold Royalties. And Ely Gold, as many of you know, has been a company that I've been following for many years. Uh, things are getting quite exciting, so we're gonna talk today. Let everybody know what the latest is, Jerry. Okay, that yeah. sounds great. Glad to be, glad you're here, but this is yeah. your first time here at the, the MIF show, right? Yeah, first time. And CEO Trey Wasser, who's been here before with me, uh, he's out sick, right? He right. came down with pneumonia with the right. holidays, unfortunately, right. and so we wish him well that he gets better quickly. So let's, uh, you know, we just had a good question answer session here at the show with, with all the the investors who were attending and uh, they had a lot of good questions. They did. With yeah. It seemed like the interest is starting to peak up. You recently did a big financing with uh, an institutional investor. Why don't you tell us about that? Uh, with Rick Rule and uh, Sprott. So yeah, we, we haven't had an institutional investor in the past. So Trey was been working on that for a while and they uh, seem really excited. And, and they're also uh, large investors in EMX royalties. Yeah. Uh, uh, Rick Rule. So uh, we thought it was really a good, uh, you know, a good fit for us, and and we definitely have a, a place to put some of that money. Yeah. Uh, you know, we were cash flow positive, so it wasn't like we actually needed the money, but uh, but you know, if we're going to go out and, be, and continue to buy these, uh, you know, third party royalties, we obviously need that money to grow the company. Of course, and you, it always helps to have a big name behind you, right? Right. So. One thing I want to do, since this is your first time here, let's introduce everybody to you and your background. I think that's important because, you know, Trey's always done these interviews with me in the past, but I always like to tell people, you know, um, as far as myself as a newsletter writer, liking Nevada, I, I discovered over the years that there's three, there was three main prospectors of the last 30 years who basically looked at or acquired the, the best of the best properties. And you were one of them. Bill Sheriff was another and Carl Pesci was the other. Right. And maybe right. a little bit uh, the uh, the Newmont discovery, uh, the old boy. Uh, uh, Long Canyon? No. No, I can't think of the name right now. I can see his face. I can't think of his name. Anyway, but you know, over the years, you guys have been a big help to me when I've had questions about projects in Nevada that I was thinking about getting involved with you. You guys always were a good call to make and to kind of give me that inside scoop on the project. Exactly. Right. And so. one thing I was real excited about working with Bill Sheriff is that, you know, actually uh, on more than one occasion over the 30 years, I actually would be in the field and in competition with yeah. you. And, and that only happened once with uh, Carl Pescio. Yeah. And that was pretty early in my career. It was one of one of his better projects. And I, I just couldn't believe it was it was actually open. And yeah. by the time I got there, uh, Carl had beat me. But Carl has a, a different philosophy than, than Bill and I. So hooking up with Bill was really, really uh, a good a coup. Thing. A yeah. coup for I the mean, company. I not think. only that, but I mean, you know, all the data, all the projects, you know, there was just so much there. And, and of course, Bill had gone through it, but you know, he did, did obviously hadn't gone through it thoroughly enough. So we've been finding additional additional properties, and there's a lot of data in there I didn't even know existed. But I've actually got that. It was all digitized, but now I have it in a way that I can actually uh, 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 query the data, and the actual data is actually just I can just click on it, and it just pops right wow. up. So I had some I had some GIS guy. You know, it took him like an hour. Yeah. And he had it like in just tip top shape. So I'm, wow. And that just happened fairly That's recently. powerful. That's so powerful because you guys are the go to source for somebody that wants to operate and get a good project in Nevada. Yes. So, yeah, that's exciting. So, in addition to your royalty model, which I like, you know, it just, and, and Trey's ability to wheel and deal, he's such a good deal maker, right? Yeah, he is, yeah. He just has a, a knack for it, and you have the knack, and Bill has the knack with the properties. So, I just think it's a, great combination, a super, you know, um, a team approach that works really well based on your own, each of your skill sets. Exactly. No, I've been, I've been seeing that for a while. So it was really, it was really good to team up with Trey. You know, we've been talking for a while. It was uh, not, not a real hard to, to come together, but, yeah. but uh, I had some other people approaching me at the same time. So I definitely think I made the right to decision working with Trey. Oh, I think so. You guys are going to do well, I think. So I'm behind you. I always tell people that, uh, you know, there's only two junior mining stocks I keep in my retirement portfolio and Ely's one and EMX royalties the other. So I think that the, the model allows you guys to be in business without uh, unwarranted shareholder dilution. 
I think you're kind of protected because that model seems to operate on the basis of, you know, building cash flow every year. And you certainly already have cash flow. Why don't you tell us about that? Yeah, we're definitely cash flow positive. This year, just on the books, without even doing another deal, we're at 1.25 million. Uh, so that's that's above what our Q and A and our and the cost to run the company for this year. Right. So and we got multiple more deals in the pipe. That does, this also does not include any royalty checks from the two properties that are one is building their mind, one is kind of somewhat built, but it's a bulk sample. So we don't know exactly how much we're going to get there. But we definitely have a a reasonable idea of what we're going to be getting off Isabella Pearl. So that check, uh, we, we, I haven't been out on a mine tour yet, uh, but uh, everything is actually on schedule or ahead of schedule. So they're saying that they're going to maybe be producing gold by June or July okay. of this year. So uh, so there's going to be a, another royalty check there. So uh, yeah, this yeah. is really uh, this, Sorry, is really, this is really going to be a, an amazing year. Yeah, and it's, it's ramping up. And a lot of these gold royalty deals that I followed over the years, there's a period where things are quiet. And then all of a sudden, as it starts to ramp up, there's a critical moment where right. you, you kind of bust out. Right. And I, I think you're approaching that. You're getting close. And so I see the share price at, you know, 13, 14, 15 cents. It seems greatly undervalued for what the model is and the, the assets that you have and the royalty deals that you already have in place and are pursuing. So very excited about that. What else can you tell us about the company? What's, uh, you know, are, are there any projects that um, are out there that you're trying to acquire or you, that you can talk about or anything that's... Um, I, I definitely, there was a little bit, of, uh, yeah, always doing that, of course. But one of the things that I've been a little bit focused on lately is some uh, third party royalties. And, the, and, the, and some of the third party royalties that we're really liking are much bigger resources. And of course, they're measured and indicated reserves, near operating mines. And, and one of the individuals we've been talking to, I mean, he's real excited about our company. Yeah. So I'm really excited about uh, getting that deal yeah. closed. That's, so. That sounds good. Most of the properties, would you say, what percentage is precious metals, gold, silver versus copper versus? We definitely focus on uh, on gold. You know, Nevada is a gold state. Yeah. We definitely do wander out of the state, and, and you know, we have some projects in Idaho, and uh, and Utah, etc. But but by the you know, definitely gold and silver. Yeah, as the name state. suggests, right? I mean, if we come across a really good base metal project that doesn't have claims on it, then obviously I'm all over it. Yeah. But it, it's definitely not a focus. Yeah. Your focus, your gold focus, which is what, I, you know, the name implies. So. Um, let's see, anything else? Your share structure, what, what, why don't we tell everybody your share? 92 million uh, uh, right now and fully diluted 108 million. 108 million, that's after the Sprott financing, right? Right. Well, actually the 92 million, I think that's that's with the uh, with the warrants and stuff. Oh, okay. Fully diluted is 108 million. 108 million, okay. And cash on hand right now? 2.5 2. million uh, unrestricted cash and a, and a million dollars in, uh, in shares, and most of that's all with gold resources, traded on the New York Stock Exchange. They're like, a, I think, around a $4 stock, so, and, and their stock is doing really good right now, yeah. and, and it pays a dividend, right. roughly. So we get a, I see when I'm looking at our uh, uh, our bank account, it's like every month we get another dividend check, yeah. you know, this goes straight to the bank account. That's fun, you know, when, instead of seeing money always go out in most junior mining companies, it's funny to see it coming in in this model, so. Like I said, I love the model. I, I just think it's uh, a greatly undervalued share price for what you're doing. And uh, sooner or later, the market's gonna realize that. Talk, talking about that, you know, I'm kind of a one man show in Nevada, but we hired an office manager and she worked for years for uh, for Phelps Dodge in yeah. the exploration di division there in Reno. She worked for Cameco and, and various other junior companies. It's really amazing uh, asset we, we just hired just part time because we don't, you know, for accounting. And she, you know, I told her, I said, you know, the money's going to be flowing in. And she says, what? It's like, every time I've ever worked for a company, I have to call up Toronto and say, you know, we need another $10 million. We're drilling, you know, for Cameco had a huge project in Nevada. Yeah. And they did, all it was was a money drain. And he says, you know, I didn't really believe you, but just constantly the, the money's coming into the yeah. bank account. <laughs> it was like, so I, it really, it really fooled her because even Phelps Dodge, I mean, they, they didn't, you know, there was always spending money on right. properties. Right. You know, she was an expiration, but, yeah. but so yeah, it really is uh, exciting that way because, you know, it just lowers our risk so much. Right. No, and that's it. And we're, we're waiting on the higher gold price. We all have our speculations about where gold's going. Personally, I think 
you know, we're going to get above 1300 there. And, you know, this year start ratcheting between 1350, 1310, you know, uh, and then we wait for the catalyst that's going to punch through that big resistance line we have at 1365. And once that happens, I think we're on our way to 1700. But obviously that's uh, what's going on in the big picture in the world is, is going to be a concern at that point. But for me, I think we're coming into the greatest bull market that we've ever experienced in our lives for gold. We've been through the, the down cycle now for quite a long time. It's been tough, tough rowing for us in the gold sector for, for a number of years now. But these things cycle, you know, we know right. that they go up and down and it looks like it's our turn. Well, we're so undervalued if those gold prices happen. We're so leveraged to the gold price. Oh. I mean, I could just see our stock just take off. Oh, man, it's yeah. going to be really exciting. It would be really a lot of fun. Yeah. So, hey, well, Jerry, glad to have you here and uh, good interview. And I'm sure everyone will take notice. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks, everyone.